Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 3. Last episode we started Sea Lion. It was a pretty brutal struggle. The British, I would say, have lost somewhere in the order of half a million men so far. And we have we have got ourselves a port. I mean, thankful like everything's fucking wrecked here, but the port is still is still manageable, which is really good for us. Then we have reinforcements coming in right over here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And I don't want to, I don't want to land too many units because that's a recipe for disaster. Now we are going to send the SS with their rocket artillery and everything included into shots here. We're going to grab, let's see, some heavy tanks, uh, and then let's see, hills, hills. It's all hills. So no matter what, they're going to be fighting the exact same. Thing. Okay. Yeah, I want to make sure we hit these guys. Are, are they attacking me now? Are there, is there another battle of gla with with with, gar with garrison units? Really? You just lost two thousand men for absolutely nothing. Yep, we're gonna rip this bridgehead right open. It's gonna be amazing. These guys should have pretty low organization. They do. And hopefully, we'll be able to really increase our, our strength in the area. Alright, you guys need to cool your tits. And what we're going to do is move a bunch of fresh infantry in all over the place. Except for there, we don't need... Well, let's move the tanks up here just so that these guys can not get killed. Oh, it feels good to have a proper sea lion. Trust me, I had to because of the game arrows I was having. I had to redo the the, be the very beginning of sea lion like four times, and I was getting really annoyed having to do the same things over and over and over again. All right, let's uh, let's take a look down here. Make sure we're wiping the Americans out. There, there, there. Boop. Get all this going. Good. Wow, look how many planes they brought in. That's a level, what, four airbase, and there's 78 units there. That is a few men. How, how are these battles going down here? Oh, already one down there. The more land we can take, the better. See what do we got here? Uh, Panzer Lair Division attacking into the mountains. You might have some luck. That's an armor division. Probably not going to have any luck there. Drop them up over here. Have more troops. We have more boots than we need. I mean, we don't need nearly as many as we have. I don't want to bring in any more men until we take more ports either. I, I feel uh, running out of supplies is just a, a, a horrible way for your men to go. We gotta, we gotta win. These two battles right here are uber important. The, like, sixth battle of shots. This one keeps raging over and over and over again because they keep bringing in men quicker than I can kill them. Which is proving problematic. And I haven't grabbed enough land to be able to... Are we really still str how are we struggling in this oh there's there's a freaking fort there isn't there that's why there we go how about we throw more men at it how about bomb oh god we're barely scratching it Could there be more bombers there I don't know, maybe. I'm bomb the crap out of them. There you go. That'll help. Oh, they do have... I, f I forgot they do have some an air force down there because they, they took that port. You guys cool it? Well, you know what? Everybody here needs to kind of cool it for a second. Alright. Let's grab these fresh guys and throw them into this battle here. We need a breakthrough in Sterling. Definitely need a breakthrough in Sterling. That should make all the difference in the world, though. 
Now, I got tigers up. Or not tigers, but I got tanks there now, so do your worst. Support attack from the side. That should help. It's all, it's all hilly, mountainous terrain. How shots doing? Ah, oh, they brought in more units. Come on. It's infuriating. They, they cycle in more units than faster. They cycle in units faster than I can kill them, basically. And boy, am I killing Brits now. How many more? You know what? I'll say, how many more runs of these do? I'm not even using them, so. There we go. Got a lot. I think I got jet fighters coming up pretty soon. I do. So this should be going pretty well now that we're flanking it. Hopefully, I mean, they shouldn't be able to move units from there to there. I mean, we might be able to make some progress here. 68.5, 68.1, 67. Yeah, we're making progress there. Good. We're doing okay. I mean, we we still we we definitely need to break this bridgehead open. But hopefully we'll be able to do it. Shots is this is the province I really want, and I think they know it. So that's why they they keep filtering guys in there. Oh wow, we actually did win there. Maybe once we take this one. We'll be able to flank a Sterling and make some more progress there. I mean, there's only one unit here. It shouldn't be that difficult. Ah, damn it. Never mind. Keep bringing in more guys. So, yeah, I was fighting one unit. Now there's like 10 in there. God damn it. Right, you cancel that attack and just uh, concentrate on your defense. I mean, they're getting supplies, so I can't afford to bring more units in if I wanted to. Like, I could load up some guys and transport them over. You guys should be perfectly fine here. I'm hoping this will this will do, do the trick right here, though. Finally breaking through there. Flank here. Then flank there. Wipe out the Americans. Take out their air base. How... Um, how is this place holding out so badly? How, how, how? Okay, just... Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Or what you're gonna do is... Shit, that was the wrong one. Just fucking starve them out. Losing too many men there for absolutely no gain. Uh, Battle of Shots is turning into a bloodbath for me now. So let's... I guess we're just going to cancel this shit. We lost 15,000 men. They lost 37,000. We lost 18,000. They lost 27,000. Fucking hell. Come on, guys. Can we just bring two fresh units in here? Where are they? Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. They haven't made it there yet. Oh, come on! Just die already! Die! Why won't you die? Now, I bet those troops better get in there before they... Before they move in more combat troops. Nope. Nope. They didn't. Now they're attacking Glasgow again. Alright, looks like it's time for more men. So just start knocking these guys off until... We can fit them. Huh, really? Only... Oh, okay. You insist. Transport them over. Don't tell me you're going to go all the way around. Why? Why go all the way around? I don't get that. Apparently that's shorter.
Well, at least we're making small bits of progress. I mean, I was really hoping we would actually be able to take this province, but... I've won the battle multiple times. They just get they just move units in quicker than I can occupy the territory, which is problematic. Wait, there's actual combat there? What, what combat is there? I don't see anything. Move you up here. You're gonna just you're all gonna die attacking the city. I've got hundreds of thousands of SS dug into the city. You're going to die. Yeah, same thing here. You're not going to break through. Battle of Sterling. One. Driving the Americans out down here. Alright, well at least from there we'll be able to bottle them up easily. Fight, <laughs> fighting through my own forts. those aircraft carriers. Carriers, here we go. On the Battle of Rockford. Or at least that's finishing up. All right, the S well, the SS unit definitely got worn out trying to take shots. Man, that, that place is a blood blood-soaked battlefield if there has ever been one in England. Hundreds of thousands. Well, Glasgow has probably got millions of corpses in it by now. Alright, there's another 47,000 dead. 22,000 dead up there. Looks like we're finally moving into Sterling. Think we're gonna make it there, though? Think we're actually gonna... See, if we if we can take Sterling, I think we'll it, it'll really open things up for us. Uh, more SS troops are arriving. Gotta get into Sterling. Gotta get into Sterling. Who's gonna make it there first? We won the Battle of Sterling. We made it! We made it! So, looks like uh, some infantry made it in there before everybody else, which was good. Alright, you can attack me here all you want. Ooh, there's another port here. Didn't even realize that. Holding out? Kind of. Battle of Glasgow again. Oh god, started just started the attack back up. I really don't want to retreat from this province. I like it. I like having it. Maybe some of these fresh units can move down there. All right, now they're attacking me here. Won the Battle of Glasgow. These guys down here. Oh, this guy's still upgrading. Oh, the mixed support unit is what's upgrading there. Now, Edinburgh, that's going to be a... I think that, because they're going to be more prepared for that one, I think that's going to be really, really bloody. All right. Let's grab some of these, some of these units. We're going to take that port right there. Should be pretty simple because it's in the plains. I don't think they're going to be able to put up... Oh, yeah. They're not going to be able to put up, put up too much of a fight there. And these units in the top will be cut off from supplies. They're attacking me just like I thought they would. Acoustic torpedoes. Not that we're really using submarines anymore, but we can if we want to. Cruisers. Are you, are you good to go? Why can't I click on you? There we go. Oh, there's, wow, there's not very many men left in this division. Want another battle for Glasgow? I hope these guys can hold out long enough to... Well, you know what? They're getting attacked from, like, five sides. So why don't we just leave them be? L let them retreat out of there. Being able to t attack shots from multiple directions, I think, is going to be the ticket here.
Hmm. Oh, Dax. Oh, come on, Spain. You can do better than that. You don't have to let them run over you like that. You can take them out all you want. Don't really care about that. Alright, we're making progress, which is good. I wonder if we could actually... Support tack here. Might be able to actually do it here. I mean, they don't have much. Yeah, we can take that. Right, are you guys... Oh yeah, they don't have anything they're capable of withstanding. I don't know if that's a high-level port or not. I don't think it is. Japanese partisans. I have Japanese... I have Japs fighting in France. That's kind of cool. Japanese are fighting in France. See, this is the problem with these frickin' forts you build all over the beaches. They, they capture them through events, and then you have to defend them. <laughs> and then you have to take them back, I mean. Which is problematic. Alright. First Japanese partisans have shattered. Oh no. Alright, good. We took that province. Attacking Glasgow again? Attacking Glasgow again. It's okay. I mean, every single time we attack, I'm more dug in than the last time I was. Up here for me. Yeah, you can do that. Down there. Good. Paratroopers are just fighting as foot, foot troops now. Regular infantry. That's fine. Now this, taking this province will cut off the north from the south. Also give me another port to work with. Another place to dump troops. Oh, what they're thinking. I, I know exactly what they're thinking. We have to take this city back, or we're doomed. Doomed. As soon as we take this, this port right here, we're going to dump some troops on there. Good. The Marines are in there. These Marines are amazing troops. I love... My Marines are probably my favorite troops. Wow. Canadian infantry. Interesting. How are they doing defensively? They have a huge defense modifier. More rocket interceptors. We'll probably move these guys over to some of my air bases in England. It'd be pretty effective. So, like, we can grab them both and, and rebase right here. And then they can provide air support. Now, all of my U-boats... Well, what we could do is uh, convoy right, right, right here. be super easy for them and that should strangle their supplies there's these freaking goddamn forts that I built I wasn't really think I was like I thought about it and then I and then I stopped thinking about it and then then there was less thinking about it and the long end. Oh, that was a that's a high level, uh, completely high level port right there. So that doubled the amount of supplies we can get in. And they're not even the, the the Royal Navy is not even coming out. Small ships, escorts, hydrophones. The Royal Navy is not even attempting to plunder my supply lines. Paratroopers, at least they didn't die. Got that going for them. They didn't die. Alright. Here come more SS troops. Pretty much everybody over... There, there are some regular... Some regular infantry over here, but there are... Like, my entire Waffen SS is over there. We lost... 
The Battle of Dax. Really? Oh, god fucking damn it, this is so annoying. It's just that they overran these provinces without any... Oh, Jesus Christ, look at that. Without any trouble, and now they, they, they took all those freaking port... The, not ports, the ports and the... Forts. The ports and the forts. It's problematic. We won. Yay. Now what we're gonna do is these guys are gonna head up this way. We're gonna try to eliminate the resistance in the north. Battle of Dundee. And the Marines, they're under attack. Holding out? Not really. Maybe we can uh, get some some assistance over there. It's been a pretty ugly invasion. The casualties have been high. But I, I kind of expected that. I mean, the English aren't going to be very happy with me on their, on their soil. <laughs> Clearly. Marines. Shots. These guys are all under attack, but I would imagine they're going to wear themselves out pretty quickly. How are the Marines going to do here? Don't actually know. 41.6. Ooh, not, not very good. Should probably, probably cool that. Cool that off. Let them, let them reorganize. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't, wasn't good. How, how much longer are you guys... Wow. They actually do have a lot. Canadians. That's who's over there. There's the Canadians. Are they suffering from... They brought tanks over? How do they get tanks over here? Are we actually hitting their supplies? We are! Good. They must have transported them over. I do not know why the Spanish are letting them do this. We should be able to wreck them pretty easily, I would think. Good, we won. No, you stay there. Won the Battle of Dundee. It's August. Ooh, you know what? I think our jet fighters are about done, right? Uh, September. I thought they were supposed to be done in August. All right, that's fine. Making a lot of progress in the sky. Not a lot of progress to the north, not a lot of progress to the south. I really need... Well, taking this port was basically, I think, sealed the doom. Because now there's two ten, level 10 ports that I have that they're not going to be able to get back. That one would be easier for them to get back because it's not urban. Infantry are heading over there. Good. Guys are going to be able to withstand, I think. I can't believe the casualties they're sustaining in some of these battles. And I, I'd really love to attack shots from three directions as soon as they cool their tits on, on Glasgow, if they ever... There. Are you actually having trouble here? This little American adventure in Bordeaux is proving annoying. More than anything else. Not terribly dangerous, just frustrating. Mostly just because I really want to focus on this. It's preventing me from doing that. Stay right there. You know what? I've I've had about enough of the constant trade things. I'm just gonna hit auto peak. I'm just gonna let I'm gonna let the game take care of it. There we go. I'm let the game take care of that. 
Hopefully these tanks will hold out. I mean, they're, they they can, they can still ship supplies up here, but I think they're, they're these guys are pretty much done for. I really haven't seen very many bombings, interestingly enough. Air intercept. Let's just put it on a small range and see what happens. Monsoons. I, yeah, I don't see any. I don't see any bombings up here at all. Gary. The Edinburgh Garrison, which has been removed from Edinburgh. You know, New York has been lost. I'm assuming. Uh, any reason not to? Sure, 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 sure. Why not? Get all that stuff. Carriers. So the carriers are like fully upgraded. Well, almost to a new class. Not not yet, but almost. Man, how many casualties do you think are gonna be here this time? It's gonna be a lot. Oh, oh, they're attacking me here as well. Oh yeah, that's not gonna get them anywhere. Five thousand for 70,000 up here. Seriously, the, Br the British are losing troops like the Soviets do. And I think they're actually transporting units over now. I think it's, I, I don't think it's just event spawn troops anymore. I think they ag are actually transporting units over. I think the British are getting really pissy about what's going on here. Now these guys should probably be detached from supplies, or not. Thought they would be at least. Hmm. Guy's gonna. Oh, uh, a division actually broke. But there are plenty more that haven't. I think they're just about out here. And as soon as we're as soon as we're able, we're going to turn around and we're going to attack shots. Well, actually, we can do that right now. There we go. So, Marines, attack. We're going to grab these guys and support attack. We're going to grab these guys and support attack. Get it started. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That that was good timing. And you you guys just fall out of battle because you don't. Have, and there we go. Let's see if we can actually get in there. Because that would be a boon for me. Because that uh, that would really help open up the frontage here. Oh, can we turn around and attack the Canadians here? Mm. In the mountains now. Let's just let's just let our guys rest. Brazilians? Did I see Brazilians in there? I'm um, okay. The the Brazilians have decided to uh, to join in. I'll fear the Brazilians. You guys better actually make it into shots before they throw in more more units. Scot Scotland's a uh, foregone conclusion. Conclusion. It's fallen. Scotland has definitely fallen. Still throwing men into the attack. Suicidal attacks, mind you. Come on, shots. How many men do you think died on this one province? Probably some of the highest casualty rates in the game, even considering the Soviets. Now, you guys can go here because... Good. Yes! Finally, we took the province of shots. Yep, there's definitely some Brazilians up there. Definitely some Brazilians. All right, folks, we are going to end this episode right here. We've made a good deal of progress. How? Well, hang on. How close are we to these guys now? Wait, why is this all going? Where did all my IC go? Production, 600. Why is nothing in here? Oh, well, figure it out later. Uh, we've, we've made some good progress. 
A lot of, we took another level 10 port, which means twice as many supplies are getting in as we used to. Oh, pretty good. I mean, the infrastructure here is wrecked, so it's going to be going to be better to get it from here. We took the important province of Shots, which is completely wrecked at this point, 100% wrecked, but that's going to open up additional frontage right here and make it more difficult for them to attack Glasgow, which means it'll be easier for me to expand out of this region. You know, we might, you know, we, we've been fighting really good. We're almost through the mountains. We basically are through the mountains. There's some hills here, but we could just steamroll down if we wanted to. And then these guys would steamroll up. Maybe have everybody cornered in Scapa Flow. But Scotland's ours, for the most part. Scotland is ours. So Sea Lion is a resounding success. We're just about pushing the Americans out of here. Gotta squish them down. And, uh, well, once we take the ports... They'll run out of supplies, and everything will be fine. That'll be good. All right, so if you have enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like, leaving those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, Hearts of Iron 3, just subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.